uh, Congress's manifesto, one of the key takeaways, as Pallavi was pointing out, this is a state which is heavily dependent on government jobs. They, spo they speak about one lakh government jobs. The BJP says that their thrust is on entrepreneurship, generating that sense that uh, youth of the state should be job creators, job givers, not be dependent on the government jobs. Uh, there was 10 key takeaways or 10 pointers in the Congress manifesto. The BJP said that let there be a shagun ka 11 numbers. What according to you is the big takeaway for this election? What is deciding, going to decide uh, the voters choice? Well, in I think Maria, jobs are important. Both sides have promised jobs. BJP is also promised in manifesto. Congress is also promised in manifesto. BJP has even promised a startup uh, fund in its manifesto to appeal to the youth. But I think the major issues, I think I will put it to three issues, touching upon what Pallavi also said. See, the, in Himachal, the old pension scheme this time is a major rallying point. You know, the, as we travelled in Himachal, more and more pensioners we spoke to, they told us that in Himachal, the karamchari hi sarkar badalte hain. Karamchari hi sarkar banate hain. So, in a way, you know, close to 2 lakh families affected by pensions, uh, that translate to 6 to 7 lakh votes, that's a big number. And the Congress promise of old pension scheme, you know, we when we travelled in Himachal, we heard a lot about it. Hmm. And also, I think Priyanka Gandhi coming in the campaign and clearly saying that we will give it in the first cabinet meeting itself. She said that we have done it in Rajasthan, we've done it in Chhattisgarh, we've done it in Jharkhand. So we will also do it in Himachal. A BJP stand on it has been a bit of a confused stand. You know, some the, I think the CM has been saying we'll set up a committee. Mr. Prem Kumar Dumal said the demand of the employees is justified. Some people are questioning the financial viability of it in the BJP. So in a way, the old pension scheme, the Karamcharis, I think, seem to be siding a bit with the Congress. But when it comes to the women, I think, again, the women will be the deciding factor in this election. 48% women population in Himachal, which also votes in big numbers. Uh, on one side, I think, is the Congress promise of giving them 1,500 rupees per month to every woman aged between 18 and 60. On the other side, we have a 11-point manifesto by the BJP, which many are also saying that, you know, as BJP also giving sops to women and what happened to the whole ravery debate. But BJP also promising big sops to women. Uh, including scooties, including 33% yes. reservation and government jobs. So in a way, the BJP has also tried because women voter, if you see, you know, if we've seen in the past elections in Uttarakhand or in Uttar Pradesh, they have backed the BJP on various counts, uh, especially the free ration scheme, which has run in the COVID uh, pandemic all across. Himachal women also benefited from it. The BJP has been stressing a lot on the women voter. Even the PM has been stressing in his speeches on the women voter in the last speech, I think in uh, Habirpur, he said that woman ne man bana liya hai BJP ko sarkar mein lane ka. So in a way, BJP is focusing a lot on the woman voter. It thinks the woman voter can swing the election. But also, I think the third important factor, which Arun Dhanta had mentioned in his, uh, when he spoke, these independents and these rebels, you know, there are just 68 seats in Himachal. Out of that, you have almost 20 rebels of BJP contesting elections in Himachal. Maria decided by 6 to 7 percent vote difference. That's right. Last time, BJP won by 49 percent votes. Congress got 42 percent votes. The vote difference is very less. So the contests are very tight, you know, each seat, seats, uh, polls over 50, 60,000 votes. So the, I think the rebels will play a very important role. Congress is also struggling with it. The BJP is struggling with it at a larger level. So what role did, and also I think because Aam Aadmi Party in a way has disappeared from the Himachal election yes. towards the end. Yes. So, you know, I think that has also worked in the favor of the Congress because the anti-incumbency vote doesn't seem like getting cut to a large extent. Hmm. So Jyoti, 